Well, back in 2000, I was there at SeaWorld in Orlando to do stories on encounters with sea lions, dolphins, and some of the other marine animals. We decided to re-air the story to show you a little of how trainers develop a bond with the animals, and you'll see me come face to face with a killer whale. And you know it's measurement day because you saw all the tools. It's morning at SeaWorld in Orlando, and inside Shamu Stadium, I take my place as a trainer for a day. Everybody has always wanted to know what it's like to be a SeaWorld animal trainer. Well, this is their chance to do that, to come behind the scenes with a face-to-face -face encounter with our marine mammals here at SeaWorld. My first duty is to help measure the mammoth mammals, nose to fin and flipper to flipper. Beauty. Now that's nice. The trainers do this on a regular basis, especially to check the progress of the younger whales. Very nice. You were very good. Yes. It's amazing. It really is a career highlight. It's one of those things that is just a high point to be able to see a calf actually born and then to spend the next several years developing that calf and, and really being one of the people to help train it and see it grow. The trainers do spend much of their time training and they let me in on some of their techniques. Take it over your head and just pop the top of the water, smack it and then bring the ball out of And that tells them wherever that, you slapped that target ball on the water, that's where they would jump. The trainers communicate with the whales in several different ways, with hand and body signals, with whistles, and with their hearts. Giving them rub downs, playing with them. You look them in the eye and show them how much you appreciate interacting with them, and they give you that right back. On my knee. Speaking of loving okay. a killer whale, how about a face-to-face -face Shamu hug? Hi, sweetie. And with that, it was time to get ready for the big show. Now, VIP visitors who were occasionally invited to pet the whales are no longer able to do so. And, um, it, I mean, it, for me, it was really weird to watch that story. And I wanted to share how close they get to the animals. What Not only physically, but emotionally close yeah, to the animals. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, um, and we're going to follow this up because Neil Anderson's going to be in. And he's had some experience with this, too, right? Yeah, he worked with the whale from Free Willy. So yeah. he's got a lot of perspective. He's going to share his insights. Um, later today on Good Day Wisconsin, the interview is in our 8 o'clock hour. Would you do it again now that you know what you know? You know, I think I would. Yeah? I mm -hmm. think I would. I, I, I felt safe at the time, um, and I was surrounded by people on uh, all of those occasions. Mm -hmm. So I would probably do it again if they opened it up to the public, but I would, I would think about it differently right. than I did 10 years ago, definitely.